75-inch 4K TVs for 2024. Looking for a massive screen above everything else? Look no further. These 75-inch and 77-inch TVs perform just as well as their smaller counterparts. The most important factor while choosing a new TV is its size. It depends on your room type and how far from the wall your sofa or bed is located. Our general advice is that bigger is usually better, especially if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck. To help you find the right big screen TV for your needs and your budget, we've rounded up some of the best 75-inch 4K TVs on the market right now. In this video is represents the best TVs I've reviewed in our test lab, where I've compared them side by side. I've actually reviewed the 65-inch sizes in the series for most of the models listed below, but the 75 and 77-inch versions are basically identical beyond screen size, including the best 8K TVs, because at this size that extra resolution really makes a difference. You'll also find many of the best OLED TVs here, though at 77 inches instead of specifically 75 inches. That's because OLED display panels are made slightly differently. Number 1. Samsung 75-inch class CLED Q60B series for KUHD Dual LED Quantum HDR Smart TV. Samsung is the brand that sells more TVs than anyone, and one of its most popular is the Q60 series. Its sleek QLED screen design stands out compared with the other TVs on this list even though the ultra-thin OLED models are sleeker and it offers better features, image quality, and more sizes than models like the TCL 4 series and Sony X80K. The TVs listed in this article are all superior values, but if you want a Samsung TV and can't afford something like the QN90B, this is a great choice. Pros. Sleek design and excellent remote. Bright image with solid contrast. Informative status screen for gaming. Cons. More expensive than competing TVs with better picture quality. Cluttered smart TV menus. The Samsung Q60B is decent overall. It's good for watching movies in dark rooms as it displays deep blacks and has incredible black uniformity, but it lacks a local dimming feature so dark scenes are washed out when bright highlights are present. It's also good for watching TV shows or sports in bright rooms as it has great SDR peak brightness and decent reflection handling but it has a narrow viewing angle so the image won't stay consistent when you watch content from the sides. It's decent for gaming due to its low input lag, but it doesn't have any extra gaming features such as VRR or HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. Finally, it's good for watching HDR content thanks to its great darkroom performance, but bright highlights don't pop due to the lack of local dimming and its low HDR peak brightness. Number 2. Best Budget 75-inch TV, TCL 4 Series for KUHD HDR Smart Roku TV. The picture quality of the TCL 4 Series Roku TV was a step behind the Vizio V Series in our budget TV test, but the differences between the two are slight enough that you'd really have to have them set up side by side to notice anything at all. The 4 Series lacks the Dolby Vision, Bluetooth connectivity and AMD FreeSync with a variable refresh rate, all of which the Vizio offers. Pros. Affordable. Excellent smart TV system. Cons. Image quality and features lag some entry-level TVs. The 4 Series advantage over the Vizio is that it comes with the excellent Roku smart TV system built in. That makes it a great choice for those looking for a one-stop smart TV solution, without having to add an external streaming device. The TCL 4 Series Roku TV is okay overall. It's a decent TV for watching movies in a dark room thanks to its high contrast ratio and incredible black uniformity. It doesn't look as good in a bright room or if you have a wide seating arrangement, as it's not very bright and has a narrow viewing angle. These issues also limit its versatility for use as a PC monitor. It delivers a decent gaming experience, but mainly due to its low input lag, as it lacks any advanced gaming features. Finally, it technically supports HDR but doesn't deliver an impactful HDR experience, as it's not very bright and doesn't display a wide color gamut. Number 3. Sony 75-inch 4K Ultra HD TV X90L Series, Bravia XR Full Array LED Smart Google TV. The Sony X90L is excellent value for money, delivering fantastic performance for its price. It has a full array LED backlight and features local dimming, which results in deep blacks. Along with the LCD panel's quantum dots, there's enhanced brightness and color here too. During our testing, we really enjoyed watching this TV especially with a huge 75-inch screen. Although the brightness here is good, it doesn't shine as brightly as other TVs on the market. Take a look at the Sony XR77A80K in this guide for a brighter alternative. 
There are some blooming and uniformity issues with the Sony X90L. But there's also plenty to love, including its video and audio quality, Google TV interface and ATSC 3.0 tuner, with extensive gaming features, including two HDMI 2.1 inputs and support for 4K 120Hz, VRR, and ALLM, this is also a great 75-inch TV for gamers to consider. This TV is also perfect for PlayStation 5, a Sony initiative that activates both auto HDR tone mapping and an auto genre picture mode to optimize the image when a PS5 console is connected. Although this TV isn't solely for gamers. In our review we wrote that the Sony X90L is perfect if you love watching movies and sports, too, the X90L series can deliver deep, detailed blacks for movie watching, and its peak light output is high enough to make it a good option for daytime sports viewing as well. Although this isn't the perfect 75-inch TV, for the price its overall performance is very good and should satisfy even fussy viewers, the Sony X90L is a great TV overall. Thanks to its high peak brightness, it's great for watching shows or sports in a bright room. It looks fantastic in a dark room for gaming or watching movies in HDR thanks to its high contrast ratio and full array local dimming feature, and it gets bright enough to bring out bright specular highlights in HDR. Thanks to its low input lag and quick response time, it's great for gaming, and it supports advanced gaming features like VRR. It has a narrow viewing angle, so it's not a good choice for a wide seating arrangement. Number 4. Vizio 75-inch Quantum Pro 4K QLED 120Hz Smart TV. Best Budget 75-inch TV for Picture Quality. When we compared the best budget TVs side by side, the picture quality of Vizio's V-Series clearly emerged as the leader of the pack. The Vizio offered the most balanced and accurate picture during our comparisons, and it comes with some useful extras such as Dolby Vision support, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth compatibility and variable refresh rate for potentially smoother gaming. The biggest downside of the Vizio is its smart TV platform, Vizio Smartcast. It's crowded, slow and littered with ads for platforms such as Tubi and Kittadel TV. Even when you factor in the cost of adding a new streaming device, however, the V-Series remains the best overall entry-level TV that we tested. Pros. Solid image quality for an entry-level TV. Lots of features, including VRR and Wi-Fi 6E. Cons. Poor built-in smart TV system. The Vizio Quantum Pro is very good for watching sports in a bright room. It gets very bright in SDR and has excellent reflection handling, so glare isn't an issue if you're watching the big game in a bright, sunny living room. It also has a wide viewing angle, so you can watch the game with a large group of friends, and everyone will enjoy a consistent image, even if they're not sitting directly in front of the TV. Motion is clear and easy to make out, thanks to its quick response time. Unfortunately, there's some noticeable dirty screen effect in the center, and the smart interface has a very limited selection of apps, and many sports apps aren't available. Number 5. Hisense 75-inch Class U7 Series ULED Mini LED Google Smart TV. Among mid-priced models we like the TCL 6 Series, just a little better in our side-by-side -side comparison, but this Hisense is a strong contender. Its excellent image quality is anchored by best-in-class brightness, that improves its brightroom picture quality and makes HDR TV movies, shows and games really pop. It's actually brighter than the TCL with better contrast, but the TCL slightly more accurate image gave it the edge overall. The Hisense uses Google TV instead of Roku, and unlike the TCL, the U7 includes an ATSC 3.0 tuner. Frankly, you can't go wrong with either one. Pros. Relatively affordable. Excellent overall image quality. Best-in-class bright room picture. Capable Google TV system. Cons. Slightly less refined image than some competitors. Theater picture modes engage motion smoothing by default. The Hisense U7H is great for mixed usage. It's best for watching movies in SDR or HDR in a dark room thanks to its excellent contrast ratio and good local dimming feature. It's also good for watching shows or sports in a bright room, as it can easily overcome glare thanks to its high SDR peak brightness and good reflection handling, but it's limited a bit by its subpar viewing angle. It delivers a very good gaming experience, with low input lag and some great gaming features. Sadly, it has a slow response time and can't display 4K at 120Hz signals properly, which also limits